What's up people, it's Max the WrestleManiac. If you will, I'm out and about, it's a vlog. It's that time. It's um clash at the castle man. Um heading up to Cardiff. I will be going with the guys at kick out. We got my kick out team every single time. Um, I'm just waiting to link them man and um yeah we're heading up to Cardiff. Um, very lucky, very blessed to get the opportunity to do this through working with kick out and um, yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun getting to kind of hopefully interview some stars backstage and you know create some content and of course i'll be bringing you guys that content whether it's on my channel wrestlemania uk kick out podcast channel restings you're gonna see some stuff in it so tune in to everywhere where we're keeping active this weekend clash at the castle getting ready to go So we have arrived up in Cardiff. The boy Skillet in the building. Yo, yo, shout out to Max WrestleMania UK. It's in Cardiff, baby. Skillet, kick out podcast. We're in Cardiff, baby. And we're going to be doing some interview prepping. Maybe. There um, he is. There's the guy. And that's how I interview prep. <laughs> <laughs> that's to be posted up in this. Yeah, man. Um, it's been a long journey, an all right journey. Uh, three and a half hours ish um yeah um but we're here comfortable and yeah it's time to put the game face on start prepping these interviews maybe get something to eat or a drink before we call it a night it's already yeah 10 10 15 so um yeah a bit of work to do but you'll next see us tomorrow in the morning getting ready before we hit the media junket so i'll leave it there for the night see you in a bit Right, so morning people, it's media day. Um, we're gonna go and head down to the media junket um, in a bit. Um, they've laid on a um, couple superstars, Drew McIntyre, Gunter, Bianca Belair, Street Profit, some others all gonna be in, um, in the involved. So yeah, we are looking forward to getting to meet as many of these people as possible. Hopefully we get some time with, with all of them. Um, Skillet, okay, skillet, skillet's decent now, people. <laughs> yeah, I, I was hiding, I was hiding here, you're getting ready, but you know, the good brother's he's ready, so yeah, it's time to head down there. Um, hopefully, get some footage, hopefully, be allowed to get some footage. Um, down there, I think it said that we need to kind of disclose beforehand if we're going to be doing yeah. audio interviews, yeah, um, camera, and all this kind of stuff. So, hopefully, I can whip this out and you know, show you guys the settings and what's going on there. So Stay tuned. Guys, so I hope you can hear me in the room. We're waiting for the WWE superstars to come out. Um, we're not getting very long with them. They've said that we're getting two minutes each, which is like, you know, after all the work prep that you do, and you're told they're just gonna kind of run around amongst everyone here. You can see how many like different media outlets are here and stuff. And all you're gonna get is two minutes, but gotta be grateful, gotta make the most of it. Um, I guess taking part is, is what counts. So yeah, looking forward to it. Just waiting for the stars to come out now. So a couple of stars have entered. You can see Finn Balor there with Ariel Hawaii. Um, who else we got? I saw Rhea Ripley in here somewhere. Drew McIntyre. Just about see Drew in the back there. Um, there you go, there's Rhea there. Yeah. Time to get to work. So DJ Ace interviewing Finn Balor there. It's so tight, like we're like, so packed in with all these other media people. Like, we can't all kind of get in and you know ask our questions and all that stuff. But um, Ace is the man. Ace is doing a good job on behalf of all of us. <laughs> Guys, in the distance there, you should be able to see the street profits. I'm here with media, but I'm here marking out like this is crazy to be these close to these people. Like I saw Dawkins on a night out yesterday, but that's a story for another time. So just wrapped up some interviews. Skillet interviewed Finn Balor, and I interviewed Sheamus. Um, He's killing it. <laughs> WrestleMania.co.uk, baby. 
<laughs> learn from learn from the best. So um, yeah, um, interviewing Seamus, bro. That you know you feel presence of someone. Like it's crazy to be in a room with some of these people and like just feeling you know the energy in the room. Like it's absolutely mad. But um, yeah, it's it's hard like not to be a fan when you're brought here to do a job. Like and kind of drawing that line in between, trying to be professional. I'm being myself. I don't care. But um, yeah, it's it's good fun so far. Thank you. How did it go? Yeah, yeah, she's, she's a sweetheart. I was gonna ask her about the time we met in New Orleans, but she doesn't need to know that. <laughs> so we've just left the media junket. We're going to see a mural. Apparently they've got like some massive WWE mural, I guess, to celebrate um, Clash at the Castle. So i um, gonna check that out. The media junket, yeah. I don't know how people are keeping their cool when they're seeing, you know, wrestlers they actually like and they're invested in. Like, I'm trying not to be a fan too much, like, but no, nah, it was a really good experience to, to to go through that and to get the opportunity to be kind of up close and personal, ask some questions, all of that kind of stuff. But yeah, Cardiff is popping right now. Like, there's fans waiting outside the hotel. Like, we stepped outside the hotel and like fans are gasping thinking we're someone we're no one um, they're waiting for wrestlers of course um, there's posters everywhere like they must have been promoing this for a very very long time so yeah the whole city knows this is gonna happen and the stadium's right in the middle of the city so Saturday's gonna be very very lit so we just found the clash at the castle mural people are taking pictures nearby you can see Roman Reigns Drew McIntyre there this is the thing that I missed when you know Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair had their WrestleMania match and we had one of these in Camden. I just never really I never really tried to be quite honest to get down to it but yeah. Sick pick. So we're back in our hotel room. Yes we um, are <laughs> my hype man back there. Come on! Um we went to Basuba after the um after we done the media stuff, we went to Basuba, got something to eat, a little Thai restaurant. Pretty cool, good stuff. But yeah, um, all the, I guess, there's other media bits and stuff that we'll be involved in, but I guess the interviews and stuff is the main stuff is what's done now. Plan to have a, a bit of a, you know, a drink and stuff this evening. Um, hopefully put out a podcast as well. Um, Skills, who was, your, who was your favorite interview? I really had a nice chat with Liv. I think she was really lovely. She, she, she was, she was, Bubbling today, bubbling this morning today. as well, like it's proper on it. I enjoyed the chat with Street Profits. I felt towards the end, I went a bit fanboyish, <laughs> and I, I could have asked a few more questions that I felt that could have got them a bit more going. They, they mm. enjoyed the chat, mm. but I felt I know I could have got them round a bit better. Yeah. And uh, what was I talked to? I'm feeling I had a nice catch up. Finn's my boys. So we had a nice little catch up, but I, I, I wanted Mex to have this weekend. If I'm honest with you, I wanted. I, I felt. Max deserves it. He's worked so Listen, hard. Listen, you, you don't know, like, how grateful I am. Well, we're grateful. Or, already, like, for, wow. for just being here and getting to experience this. Well, like, we're grateful for you, bro. You deserve it, bro. You've just done all the hard work. And I, just, I wanted this to be the case for a long time. And I just felt like I didn't want, I didn't want it to um, be about us today. I wanted it to be about you, so... No, and you did a that, great man. job my brother even with like this stuff like i can see myself in you and this stuff like when i first started doing it you forget certain questions that you already planned max plan if i'm honest with you max planned most of the questions for both of us and then like there's certain times where for some reason this comes out your head but even still then you still took your time you didn't panic and you asked some great questions and you could tell like that they like you like the gunfire and um, ludwig they liked you and um you had a nice chat with Damien Priest. You yeah, liked yeah. Shameless really Priest liked was you. cool, yeah. I think they all liked you. Bianca liked you, you know what I mean? I think Bianca's a bit annoyed <laughs> with your cash question about Sasha. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but she was rattled anyway. So yeah, yeah. She, 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 she was rattled before she got to us, but I, I basically just tried to be a bit, you know, cheeky and I asked her, like, your girls, their, their titles, they've lost their titles and they, they, you know, they're still champions, but they've 
crowned new tight champions and yeah yeah she's probably looking at me like don't ask me about them lot like um but yeah it, it was all good fun it and was, was, man. i think like you're saying i think it's hard to contain the fanboy and for obviously for me it was my first one you're overwhelmed at the same time and try to be do a professional job as they're expecting yeah, yeah. um but yeah, man. You did great. Just gotta keep you it did real. Great, sometimes. brother. We did more of this, man. More of this. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Definitely. I don't know what else we're doing later on today, but I feel like we're quite busy. To, I mean, it might be a bit busy later on. They said there's some like drinks in it, some media drinks or something. Awesome. Yeah. Right. Let's go. Always down. Let's for get a the bevies in. Woo! Let's get the bevies in. Always down for a drink. So, yeah. But we're just chilling out now, and um, yeah, bring you a lot along later whenever we get to whatever is next. Yo, I'm back out on the move with Skillet. Yeah. Skillet, where are we off to? Uh, we're going to the Revolution, the Cuba. What's that? We're going to do, uh, there's going to be loads of, well, it's going to be like a free bar for press and media. So, Max and I, if Ace wants to join us, hopefully he will. We can go there, have free drinks, and watch for us be interviewed in a different setting. We don't have to do any major interview work. This girl is happy there and show our presence. It should be good, it should be quite good fun. And I'm gonna drink a lot and do a lot of woo! That is it! <laughs> Pick a four leg roll. So our Friday night has started if you like. Um, so yeah, hopefully see what that's about. Mm. And then maybe step out afterwards into the town. Yeah. For see sure. what Cardiff has the offer. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah absolutely. man, yeah man. So yeah, that's our yeah, plan for this right? evening. YOLO thing. So yeah, that's our plan for the evening. We'll see how we get on. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. I got back on Tuesday and uh, first thought of our business is get myself some Ribena was the first thing I think I had to source out some iron brew, I went to get into a Witherspoon and uh, here's some banter where people actually get my jokes and find my humour funny because the Americans don't find our sense of humour very funny so it's good to get back home to the UK and amazing to walk into Cardiff and see my stupid face everywhere. <laughs> But that mural, have you seen it? It's absolutely unbelievable, the detail. I love that uh, you know, Roman's face, half of it's caved in. It's almost like an omen for Saturday when my big right foot connects with his face. It's predicting the future. Uh, guys, I've only just went and won myself a Universal Championship. It's all red and that. No, up close and that. This belt isn't the one. Triple H needs to really go and change these championships to something that looks a bit more prestigious. They'll do for now. Nice and weighty and that, but yeah, we need proper world titles. So we've been in that bar for about five or six hours, drinking all the free drinks, and Skillet's off on one. Man's doing his. <laughs> He's turned Ric Flair on me, guys. But um, yeah, we're just getting back to the hotel now. Some rumors are we're still gonna go out again. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end this side of the vlog here. But tomorrow, it's Clash of the Castle. So looking forward to that now. The, the gas has been real in Cardiff. Like it's, it's dawned on me like it's happening, isn't it? So like, yeah, looking forward to Clash tomorrow. What's going on, people? It is Clash at the Castle Day. We've had a bit of a bit of a slower start to the morning. We plan to go on this tour thing of the castle. I think I told you guys about it before. Um, we didn't make it. Um, it just didn't sound as enticing as we thought it may be. Um, so yeah, we didn't we didn't make it. Um, had breakfast. Recorded a podcast um, for kick out. So um, of course there is some predictions in there. By the time you guys see this, obviously the event would have happened, but there are some interviews in there. Um, Drew McIntyre, am I right in saying? Drew McIntyre interviews in. Yep. So Drew McIntyre and a tri Triple H as well. Ace had some time with Triple H, which he's going to put in that podcast. So kick out podcast, you guys check that out. Um, there's some good pieces in there along with our predictions and just our general um, chit chat about how the weekend has gone so far. Um, as we talk, Skillet is doing his work and uploading that right now. Um, but yeah, we just came back from the Liverpool game. 
So Skills isn't too happy because um Liverpool shit. Yeah man, Liverpool didn't turn up. Um Everton, Merseyside Derby, difficult game, but um yeah, Liverpool didn't look great. Um You were happy though. I was I was happy because the match was entertaining, innit? <laughs> the match was entertaining. Liverpool didn't win, like the the top four I just want I just need the top four. I know Liverpool's better than Arsenal. I just need the top four to remain open. Yeah, that'd be good for you, innit? Yeah, that's it. I just need the top four to remain open, course, innit? Of course. Um and yeah, Lampard, I like Lampard and I don't want him to lose his job as Everton manager. So yeah, it was a win win situation for me. Um but yeah, we're literally just, you know, doing last bits now, um, counting down until um we literally go to the stadium the, the streets are packed at this point the streets are packed everyone is here there's queues for merch and everything like it's proper proper mad um cardiff is now like coming alive skills is, would you say this is still like it's not america levels no but it's really good it's starting to pick up now yeah it's starting to be really good the streets are being really up but no it is no america levels is, is the next great thing yeah, and so. it's obviously it's a bit more embedded in it. Not to say that England doesn't have a culture, but we do. But in yeah. it's a bit more embedded with their culture. Isn't yeah, it? they're a bit more. Yeah, they're into wrestling and that, yeah. innit? So, no, I hear that. So, yeah, everyone, you can see everyone. Everyone is just work, walking around in merch. Like there's wrestling fans everywhere. Um, so yeah, we we we've got to head in there early. They've told us to get there for three. Even though, you know, the show don't start till 6, 6.30. So, I don't know if they need to just get media in there first or something. Um, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So I don't know if you guys can see the road. But it is ram. It's getting packed. Guys, I don't know if you can tell. But this is a queue. Now, the stadium is like behind these buildings that you can see ahead, yeah? So I don't know if this queue is for merch or people have started queuing to get into the stadium but it's a bloody long queue because you can't even see the stadium. Getting proper crazy in town now. some stuff in here that I can give to my son so yeah got a goodie bag in the presidential suite now complimentary drinks and that <sighs> the life so guys someone just walked into the presidential suite mr. money in the bank <laughs> Austin Ferry in the presidential suite. Does he cash in? Does he cash in? We shall see. So we're trying to locate our box. I think we're we're lost. We're low key lost. But um, we're being sent all over the place. Like the staff don't know either where we should be. So. I'll show you it once we get there, but right now, we don't know where it is. Alright guys, so we found our seats in the press box. Very spacious and that. I'm very happy, bro. Little table and that. I guess if you were doing any work, laptop and that. And look at the view. Just the ring straight ahead. The entrance is beyond it, if you can see that. Um, yeah, man. Stadium's filling out nicely. This castle they built above the ring is a mad thing. But yeah, man. We're here. It's looking good. It's looking good. Looking forward to it. So it looks like the pre-show's just kicking off. 
Mad Cat Moss. Time for the show to start. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's freaking go. Come on. The new name of Bailey's faction, Ramage Control. match bro Imperium is back together on my days
happening. I feel something's gonna happen. for Rollins' entrance. Phoenix Flash. Go on, Rollins. Jeez. Oh, of course. Oh. So it's main event time. The pay per view's gone really kind of fast, really brisk sort of thing. I thought there may be some other segments in here, some of the further stories, returns, anything like that. But, um, has, hasn't been not the end of the world we'll just get on with the main event looking forward to it Double J!
for shenanigans. gonna win I was certain but you know I love Roman and this was an incredible finish incredible finish so straight after the show I was whisked away along with the other uh, journalists media and all of this stuff and um, we were taken to the press conference the post show press conference where Triple H opened up an array of superstars came out to answer questions and you know just give their thoughts on the entire show really good insight to kind of sit in this and see how this works behind closed doors um yeah just really good experience to see this the questions asked how they broadcasted it um obviously a lot of you know this was broadcasted straight onto youtube and facebook some of you guys messaged me when you spotted me in the crowd um so yeah 
just another great experience you know when you know i got this opportunity to um be amongst the press for this weekend so guys um i guess that's it the one thing we couldn't really show you because they told us not to even though then once we got in there there was cameras and stuff is the press conference so i'll try to insert what i can well i would have inserted it already about the press conference but yeah we went to the press conference um some great moments some great questions asked it's over it's over that is clash at the castle in cardiff um skills what's your thoughts loved it great event main event was fire um sheamus and gunfire fire seth Riddle, fire um the main event i love the ending of the main event and it was the right call the booking of that last five ten minutes was superb reigns needed to keep the belt and no offense to drew i like drew drew's world and, class and if yeah drew's a great great talent and if he won i wouldn't have been pissed yeah. i actually would not have been upset but it'd be nice but i want see my wrestling my wrestling needs to be controversial yes. my wrestling needs to be talkative yes. when Brock Lesnar beat Undertaker I went crazy yes this is what I wanted I wanted Reigns to retain it and I think he deserves to retain it Reigns needs to hold his titles for a long time and maybe drop it to Cody or maybe to the great one who knows maybe not even there I don't know but it was amazing I loved it big up Drew big up Reigns it was an amazing match we were singing all the Drew songs, we were chanting, we, we booed Roman when but he came what, out with no, everyone what, else. No, we didn't really boo Roman. No, no, yeah, we no, put we, we put the ones up still, that's true, it's just true, it's true. But you see what it is, it's just like, the finish was just so good. It was so good and like I said in the vlog earlier, you guys know I'm a Roman fan. I'm a Roman enthusiast. Like, this was, this was first time I've seen Roman live. And I was shook, I was gonna see him lose. And he didn't. Came out on top, solo Sakawa. Oh, mate. I'm sure, I've, I've, I'm, I'm talking like you're not gonna see my, my reactions and stuff. My reactions are already in this video. Like, me and Skillet lost our shit. <laughs> like, everyone around us was looking at us like, you're meant to be cheering Drew. We were I said, hated. I said, I said we fuck that guy. For that minute, for that minute, I, I said, fuck that Drew, guy. We love hated. Drew. And when he came, when we went to the press conference, he came across so, personable like yeah, yeah, this exactly. this is all him the whole of cardiff everything this is all drew and all the work all the marketing he's put in like yeah drew drew gets my respect big time but um yeah man what an ending I'm, I'm, we'll talk we'll talk and you know is it the right decision and all of this stuff but um man that's that's cardiff that's cardiff oh, skillet and big up Ace as well, you lot brought me through. Come on man, you saw history today bro. Like, you saw honestly, history. I'm very grateful. You saw a historic moment, no, no, come on, we're grateful for you my brother, come on man. I'm very say grateful man. You work, you work for this, come on man. I'm very grateful say, man, say, this was, say it nothing, was incredible, bro. it was incredible. But we, so we, many we more, just bro. witnessed history. That, I've seen a lot of wrestling events in the past seven years mm. and that's up there with one of the best. Yeah, that, that was honestly awesome. Like, And I hope you guys watched it at home, enjoyed it as well. So. Without further ado, gonna call it a day here. Um, we're not. We've got a, you know some more hours in Cardiff before we start making it our way home. Um, and yeah, it don't stop all out tomorrow, in it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Anyway, um, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff, and I'll see you soon.